because I'm gonna get these people because they're nasty. They're teaching their children fear, resentment, anger, hate. Don't you think our children have enough fear, resentment, anger, and hurt just going to school? Having their parents help cough, spit, run around, say doo doo, throw, throw cuck at him. He's a human being. She's a human being. What are you teaching your children? Because they have less money than you? They, you smell better than they do? What? Kill them? when you're a total legend and you're out here cutting and it's just starting to rain you got to finish up it's just a little bit of water what is up YouTube gods it's your boy Mike from duck walk professional and the holidays over the fun and games are over for right now and it's time to get back to work so I figured um, I show you guys um, the changes that I made in the trailer so get started back to work workflow for all you other lawn gods out there battling the, these lawns every day, it's halftime season for us down here in South Jersey. It was 4th of July and um, we got to get through the next uh, two quarters and get ready. This is when you show what's what you're about. How do you finish? Okay, the first big change is we took the uh, 36 off the trailer, decided that we didn't uh, need it anymore because I would just like to use that. So they had a deal at Home Depot where they're selling, they're not going to be selling the Time Masters anymore. So you could get this brand new 30 inch time, uh, time Master mower for $6.99 when they're normally worth uh, $1,000 or more. So had to get that. Figured that was a good idea. We got a couple new trimmers there because the other one was making not working right. We got the uh, got the Husqvarna 322L and then the 525LST. That's the little bit of the heavier one. This one's a little lighter. I actually prefer the lighter one. I think it does an excellent job. So then with getting the um, 36 out, we have room to be able to put our sprayers in there and secure them to the hook there so they'll never fall down. And then that cleared up a little bit of space back here for getting on and off in the mower for the cooler. And we got our chemical box up there, keep the gas in the corner right there so we can get the 52 in and out. And that's the way we arrange the trailer. We had some uh, little bit of bamboo job out here. Filled the truck up with bamboo. And if any of you guys are thinking about planting bamboo anywhere, don't, because it grows crazy. Um, it's hard to knock out. It's an invasive species. You sick people! All right, the mission is, is to clean the truck up a little bit. So that's what we are left underneath those mats that we took out, and that's my bed protector. The man just literally cannot stop working. He just keeps going. So hard for the boys. Okay, you guys can see how cleaned out it is now. I took out that much stuff so that's a lot of stuff to sweep out between throwing grass back here and doing rock jobs and the important thing is is to get these holes cleared out so that the water drains and doesn't sit in your truck and just rust it out like we're having a problem right there I don't think any water would sit in there but you should have seen all the junk that was in there too it was caked up so it's a good thing to do uh, halfway point of the year, keep on trucking. I put the old man to work. The old man's at work over here washing my 
things off for me. And them shits are dirty. Thank you for doing that. The main mission is to spray all this uh, shit out there. I had a fluid leak and everything just caked up on there. You can't clean uh, your ride without cleaning the shoes. So this is what we're using, wet or dry. And basically, basically you just spray it on and let it do its thing for five minutes and then the tires look awesome after that. You got the Mop God's uh, approval for this product right here. Okay, the next mission is to wash the Visiting Angels Mobile and our family um, 4th of July washing the car session. Phew! But